What's going on YouTube? What's happening? Brother 19 here back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo wee! Hope everybody's doing alright. Hope everybody's doing blessed. Hope everybody's having a great day. But real quick, you guys, if you're going through a bad patch in life, please understand some God loves you, God cares about you. Cash your cares on Jesus because he loves you. Jesus dies so we can live and live life more abundantly, okay? Hold your head up and everything, you guys. Better days is coming. God loves you, okay? If somebody, uh, whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're dealing with and everything, understand something. Give it over to Jesus and he'll work things out, okay? There's ain't no time for you to quit. There's ain't no time for you to give up and everything. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what your family said or what your ex said and everything. Jesus has the last say so, okay? If you lost a loved one and everything out here, please understand some they're in a better place. They're in the hands of Jesus. They're in heaven. And if you maintain the faith and you maintain obedience, one day you will see them. Okay? Keep the drive alive. You keep the dream alive. All right? Never give up on your dream. People will walk away from you and everything, but Jesus will never walk away from you. Only thing Jesus do, he's, he come to where you at. Come to where you at and everything, but he never leave you. Now, you can leave him, but Jesus will never leave you. Okay? And understand some of you guys. People are temporary. Jesus is permanent. Okay? Don't worry about what some negatives that somebody said about you. Don't worry about how somebody feel about you and everything. Only two people that need that, that need to be 100% sure about who you are and what your purpose is. And that's Jesus himself and you. Okay? Understand that and everything. Don't worry. Don't get. Stop, don't try to be a people pleaser. Okay? Don't try to be a people pleaser. Be a God pleaser. Okay? Also, you guys and everything, um, if you feel depressed, you feel like you're ready to give up on life and everything, Jesus got a uh, blessing for you. He has a purpose for you. You are not an accident and everything. You were made on purpose to do a purpose, okay? So understand that and everything. Dry those tears up. Hold your head up. Better days is coming. Your best days ahead of you, not behind you, all right? In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. Your first time tuning into my channel, please understand something. I talk about real shit on my channel. I ain't here to bullshit nobody. I ain't here to lie to nobody. I'm here to be honest with you, real with you, raw, unedited, and uncut. This ain't nothing nobody gave me to tell you. This ain't something I wrote down on paper. This ain't something I'm acting on paper. This is coming straight from my heart to you guys, okay? I am not here to judge you. I'm not... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm not here to point the finger at you. I have no heaven or hell to put you in. But I am here to challenge you to be a better man or better woman. Once you know better, you should do better. Okay? Also, you guys, somebody says something negative to you about me, uh, about my uh, channel and everything. Please understand. Please tell them to uh, go straight to hell. I ain't got time for negativity and everything. If you don't want to hear it, take your ass on somewhere. We about real shit on this channel, not bullshit, okay? Now, if you want to hear bullshit, you're on the wrong channel. If you want to hear real shit, you're on the right channel. All right, you guys. Uh, sorry in advance. A little tired. A little, uh, I ain't been long. Woke up, actually. So I do apologize for any droopiness that <laughs> I may display. But um, the topic of conversation today, it is called, You're the guest at your own funeral. I repeat, you're the guest at your own funeral. You guys, let me explain something to you. You listen to me very well. I'm going to say, I'm going to be honest and be blunt like I always do. Stop letting people take you to an early grave. I am repeat, stop letting people take you to an early grave. If you, do, if you find yourself dealing with somebody and everything, again, that's bringing you stress, that's bringing you chaos, that's bringing you a bunch of nonsense, a bunch of drama and everything, I'm going to tell you what they really are, what they really are doing. They have just became just became a Paul Bear to you, okay? They have just became a Paul Bear to you. They're they're the driver who have you in the hearse that they're gonna take to the all grave site. Stop letting people take you to an early grave. Okay? I want you to think about this for a second. Imagine you uh, having a dream. You went to sleep and everything you having a dream. Hell might as well be a nightmare. Imagine looking into your own casket. 
and you look around and everything, you laying there dead in the casket, and you look around at people who drove you and everything to die way before your time, and you didn't stop them, okay? If it's one thing you know, if one thing you need to learn from your boy and everything, get rid of bullshit. Get rid of people who don't have your best interests in life. Get rid of people who don't care anything about you. Get rid of people who think you you just a, a second thought. Get rid of people who don't appreciate your value. Get rid of people and everything who dog and mistreat you and talk shit behind your back. Get rid of people who are backstabbers. Get rid of people and everything who you know don't love you. Get rid of them, okay? Because if you, the longer you keep that toxic bullshit around you and everything, you're setting the stage and everything for you to get be uh, to be dead before your time, particularly because of stress. And stress is a silent killer. So understand that and everything. Don't mess around and everything and let the very people who claim that they love you and everything, they be the very ones and everything that's all uh, putting you in the casket. They're the very ones. Don't let them be the one that's driving the vehicle and you went back of the hearse because they didn't drove you crazy or you allowed them, I should say, to drive you crazy. People are people, y'all. Especially in today's world and everything. People ain't raised right. I ain't said they ain't raised. They're not raised right. They're not raised to respect people. They're not raised to care about somebody's feelings. They're not raised to be in no damn relationship. They're not raised right. They don't know what real friendship is. They don't know what about being a family is. About the brotherhood is. So I'm just telling you and everything. Quit letting people push you to an early grade. Quit letting people tell you or dictate to you how your life should be. Quit letting people boss you around and push you around. Quit letting people stress you out. Quit letting people do it. I keep telling you and everything. You have control of your life. And it's time to take control. Give Jesus the wheel. But while Jesus is taking the wheel and everything, get all that bullshit out of the car. Get rid of it. Because if you don't, it's going to end up driving you to an early grave. Understand some Jesus can't, Jesus himself, as much powerful and much grace he shows us and everything, Jesus himself can't help you if you don't let him. And if you don't allow him. You got to get rid of the bullshit in your life. You wonder why you stressed out, you pain, uh, and you got to go to the hospital and taking pills and uh, medicines and treatment and everything. Look at the bullshit around you. Look at the damn bullshit around you. Some of you guys don't realize it and everything, but you already have there. Some of y'all don't even realize that you already have there. You got one foot in the casket and one foot in life. That's because you allow bullshit. You allow stuff to stress you out. You allow people to treat you any kind of way. You allow people to bring stress and chaos to your life. I don't give a damn if it's your husband, if it's your wife, whoever. If somebody has shown you, somebody has proven to you that they don't give a shit about you. They don't care about nothing about what you stand for or don't care about how you feel or anything. Why the hell are you still with them? People get on my nerves and everything. They talk about their problems, but they don't do shit to try to solve them. Solve your problems and everything before your problems end up get uh, eliminating you. Let's get shit right, y'all. Okay? Again, learn this from your boy. When I'm dealing with a problem, when I find somebody and everything that won't change, that keep acting a damn fool, I'm not going to keep arguing with you. I'm not, it's not about, oh, you don't, you need to learn to be patient, bullshit. I don't have patience for bull, patience for bullshit. If you don't want to change, then I'm going to remove you or I'm going to remove myself out of the equation. You're not finna sit and stress my ass out. You all need to learn that. Some of y'all walking around half dead. Some of y'all don't understand and everything. You have yet to live. You've been born, but you have yet to live. Because you's tired with bullshit. Y'all, God did not promise you the next day, next minute, next hour, next month, next week, next year. So if he do allow you to wake up in the morning, do me this favor. Move all the bullshit out of your life so you can live a productive life. Don't be 50, 60, 70, 80 years old and you look back over your life saying, man, what the hell have I, have I done? Why did I let this man or this woman come up and mess up my life? 
Push is yours. But I'm just telling you in everything. There's a lot of people who live with regret every day. Don't keep staying married to somebody and everything. You see the damn marriage ain't going nowhere. You see he's he or she is still bringing drama and chaos in your life, but you refuse to leave the bullshit. Get it? Like I said, if they don't change, get their ass ultimatum. Either you change or your ass get left. Period. Understand something. Don't nobody need to live in misery. Don't nobody deserve to live in misery. Every day you come home, you stressed out over stuff and everything. Hell, you is life itself is stressful. Especially if you're a black man or black woman. Their life itself is stressful. But the problem is and everything, when you have people in your life who stressing you out and everything, that adds. That's pouring more, more liquid into the gas, into the glass and everything. Understand something, you guys. I'm going to give it to you blunt. Either you stop somebody from stressing you out to an early grave. Or your ass gonna be laying dead in that damn casket and they be out doing something else. Quit letting people stress you out. Get rid of them. Quit letting a job dress stress you out. Quit letting your ex stress you out. Choice is yours. You wanna live or you wanna die? Just cause you were born on your birthday don't mean you living. You existing. There's a difference. Get out and try new things. Get out and explore a different environment. Get out of your safety zone. I'm just telling you, life is precious. And life is not promised nor guaranteed. So each and every day God allows you to live and everything. Take that and live it. Live, live every day like it's your last. Too many people and everything run around here. Too many people run around here and everything thinking that, oh, I'm going to plan my life five, ten years down the road. God didn't tell you you're going to live no five, ten years. God didn't tell you you're going to live to see this age or see, uh, see that age. He didn't tell you that. He didn't tell me that. He didn't tell nobody that. Understand something. God knows your birth date. God knows your death date. There's a reason why he did not give you your death, your death date. You know why? Because he gave us our death date when we were going to die and how we would die and everything. We will govern our life around that day. That's why he says and everything, live every day, excuse me, live every day prosperous. Live every day and everything knowing that I love and care about you. Y'all got to learn to live. Like I said, I got to learn to live. Too many of y'all been existing too long. You got to learn, excuse me, you got to learn to live. Like I said, a lot of y'all have one foot in the grave and don't even realize it and one foot in life some of y'all walk around like some of y'all walk around like zombies and people who are familiar with zombies and everything the zombies they're already dead but they're just contaminated they just existing so I'm gonna ask you and everything I don't mean to be comical but I'm gonna ask you and everything how, when, how, when you gonna stop letting Somebody else's poison, like the zombie in the zombie movies and everything. When they bite you or scratch you, you turn into one. Don't turn into a zombie. Just because somebody else stuck on stupid and parked on dumb and won't want enough for their life, don't let them bite you. Where you become that way. Choice is yours, man, woman. Choice is yours. You want to live or you want to die. Some of y'all and everything be so depressed and so uh, messed up and everything. You keep asking God. Well, why is this happening? God, when are you going to deliver me from this and everything? Damn it, you figure that out. If you find out, again, if you find out the marriage is not working, if you find out he don't give a shit about you, if you find out she don't give a shit about you, what the hell are you still doing in a relationship? Believe it or not and everything, your worst enemy could be the worst, the very person you married to. Your worst enemy could be the very person you related to or live with or work for. But if you keep dealing, you keep dealing with it. Like I said, that zombie that bit you. Now you contaminate it. You know how they be doing walking around like the zombie and everything? You contaminate it and everything because you just exist existing. You're not living. You're contaminating everything. Now you don't know how to get up and go and pursue stuff in life. You end up just like them. That's the whole thing about a zombie in the movies and everything. By the way, that's my favorite uh movie uh horror and everything, zombies. Don't ask me why. 
But um, what I love about it, like I said, the principles, when a zombie bites you or scratch you, whatever the case may be, you become like them. When you around dumb-minded people who ain't trying to do nothing with their life but dumb shit, or they ain't trying to do nothing with their life, you get bitten and you become just like them. You start selling them for shit that you normally wouldn't settle for. So I'm just telling you and everything. The antidote is Jesus. Get away from round zombies before they bite your ass. He or she don't want nothing out of life but a bunch of damn drama. Get the hell away from Ronald before you become contaminated with that same uh, bullshit. Your choice. I had to remove a lot of people out of my damn life. People are people, y'all. I don't just say that to be saying that. People are people. They'll change when they get ready. If they, they love, if they really do love you, they'll show it versus telling me. Remove people out of your life that don't mean you no damn good. Remain, remove people out of your life and everything who don't care nothing about you. Remove stress out of your life and stop using cigarettes and worldly things to try to uh, suppress your pain, suppress your hurt and anger because it does nothing but make shit worse. It makes shit worse. So I'm just telling you and everything. Stop drinking the poison from somebody else's cup. Stop allowing people to dictate how your life going to be. Stop letting people tell you what your dreams are. Have some respect about yourself. Pursue something. Accomplish something. Go some places. Live. I'll be real with you and everything. I was scheduled and everything to have my own, my vacation. But it got put on hold because I kept getting broke down. Which therefore ended up messing up my money. But don't get it twisted. You got my word. I will be on a vacation. Very soon. Don't get it twisted. I ain't sitting here bullshitting you. I'm being real with it. So I'm just telling you and everything. You got to learn to live. Just because you... Just because you breathing don't mean you're alive. Just because you breathing don't mean you're alive. So understand that. Alright? You want a better life and everything. Just start making better decisions. You want to be around somebody that's a better fit for you. A better person. Then get away from around the dumb shit then. You, get a, you want a better environment and everything Just switch up your damn environment Pack up your shit and hit the road Leave that bullshit behind you Just telling you It's up to you if you want if you want a life I'm like this and everything If you ain't right You ain't want to be bothered You this, you that and everything I don't fool with you Like I said and everything People are temporary Think about, think about when you go to the grocery store And you pick up a gallon of milk what do that gallon of milk tell you on the date and everything right up on top? It tell you the expiration date. People are the same way. Everybody on this earth, animals included, has an expiration date that only God knows about. Jesus is permanent. Jesus don't have no expiration date. That's why he said trust him. Damn people. Damn what they say. Damn their opinion. They don't know shit about you. People get on my nerves and everything. You only read the cover of a book, but you never open up the book to read it and find out why this person is that way. The person, you know, the way the person appeared to you is the cover. But you don't open up the book and read and investigate and everything what's inside the book. How you gonna know how to judge the person? Or should I say how you know how to assess the person? You can't assess me by how I appear to you. You, you can't analyze me by how I talk to you. Because you don't know the whole formality. So I'm just telling you and everything. The choice is yours, my brother, my sister. You want to keep you want to keep existing out here? You want to keep going paycheck to paycheck? You tired of the same dumbass people? You tired of old phony ass family? You tired of family walking around thinking they better than somebody and ain't about shit? Get the hell away from Rona. That's why your ass keep going in the hospital. That's why you facing certain situations in life. Because you're around the wrong damn people. And you've been around them and you tolerated their behavior. That's why and everything, again, like the zombie, you've been bitten. You've been bitten and don't even realize it. Don't mess around and have a dream and find out you came to your own funeral. And you find out and everything that one of the pallbearers and everything was the very person that claimed they love you. Pallbearers are the one that carries the casket. But understand something and everything. Paul Bear may carry your casket, but Paul Bear also may have the one 
excuse me, have the one that has something to do with you dying. I've told you guys this a million times. People who don't know you, people who are at a distance of you, judge you the most. But people who are close to you, that know you, they can hurt you the most. Your enemy can kill you. Your enemy can kill you. But it's your friends and family that's close to you. They're the ones. They're the ones that hurt you. They're the ones that attack the heart. Your enemies attack the body. But your friends and so-called family attack the heart. Understand the difference. So I'm just telling you and everything. Stop existing. Stop existing. Don't look over and go, go look and go find your casket. And look over there. Make sure you're not in it. Make sure you ain't got one foot in the damn uh, casket and one foot in life. Make sure that you ain't just inhaling and exhaling. Make sure you actually are living. So I'm just telling you, we'll remove bullshit just like the wipers do when it rains on a, on a car, on a vehicle. Remove all that bullshit off. Move all that bullshit off. Because if you don't, anybody who drives a vehicle, ever drove a vehicle, if you don't put your wipers on, it's pouring down raining outside, what's going to end up happening? You Two things. You're going to end up having a wreck, and you're going to end up going blind as far as on the windshield. Because all that water and the rain and everything is blinding you. And when you are blind, you can't see. And when you can't see, you can't detect what's going on in front of you. So I'm just telling you and everything. Let's get shit together. Let's get shit together. Learn how to live. Stop just existing. Get rid of the bullshit in your life before it get rid of you. Everybody run around talking about they love you, they care about you and everything, but they the very damn niggas putting you in the uh, ground. They're the very damn reason why you can't stay out of the damn hospital. Like I said, if you see the problem and you see that's the situation, why keep dwelling in it? If you keep dwelling in it, like I said, it's because you've been bitten. And when you've been bitten, you become like a zombie. You become just like them. The same assholes you around, you become just like them. That's why I get rid of them. Though I ain't trying to rekindle no flame. I ain't trying to rekindle anything. I ain't letting your ass bite me. I don't want to be no damn zombie. I'll keep that bullshit at a distance. You don't want none of our life with a bunch of damn drama? God bless you. You don't feel like talking, you too damn busy? God bless you. No hard feeling. I just don't deal with you. I deal with people who deal with me. You ain't got time to deal with me, get the hell on some damn way. That's how I look at it. Because people are temporary. They're temporary. Jesus is not. And first of all, Jesus is not going to push you to the side. Jesus says there's room for everybody at the cross. And I tell you something else I love about Jesus. He's easy to talk to. He's always listening to you. Everybody, not everybody listens to you. Remember, hearing somebody and listening to somebody are two very different things. Well, your mom, example, your mother say, go to school and learn something. You heard what she said, but it's your actions that dictate to her, excuse me, that dictate to her that you were listening. It's your actions that dictate to you were listening. So I'm just telling you and everything. I ain't trying, ain't trying to come down on nobody. But damn it, I got to make sure and everything that you're not a damn zombie. I got to make sure that you ain't sitting up in a casket already prematurely and don't even know it. Because you have allowed people to come in your life and mess shit up. You allow people to come in your life and take away your happiness. Take away your peace. Take away your financial ability. Take away your mobile ability. Take away your mind. Because it ain't bullshit. Get rid of it. Get rid of it before it get rid of you. Some people, and every, some, let me be real with you. Some people are worse than drugs. Some people are worse than drugs. That's why I say, get rid of them. The best way and everything to avoid drugs is to avoid, the best way and everything to a solution to drugs is to avoid it, period. And avoid people who deal with drugs. Like I said, they promote the best way to, uh, for you to uh, deal with your problems and trouble these stupid ass of America and everything, promote drinking and smoking. And don't realize and everything that compounds the problem. That don't heal you. That makes things worse. It's a new demon now you got to fight with. So I'm just telling you. Don't come to your own funeral. Don't allow people to drive you to the grave before it's your time. Get your shit together. 
People, again, somebody, your husband, your wife, talking about they love you, but you don't know they're the driver of the hearse, of the box you sitting in. You don't even know that they're the very ones that help put you in that damn casket. Don't let love blind you. That's why I said and everything. See through people bullshit. When you see their ass ain't right and everything, what the hell are you still doing with them? What are you still fooling with them? I don't give a damn that they are family. Remember I told you about family and relatives. Get shit right, y'all. Get shit right. It's right of 19. Hope you got some out of this. I want you to live. I don't care if you're an enemy of mine. I care if you don't like my channel. I want you to live. Stop being just existing. I want you to get rid of the bullshit in your life. Get rid of the bullshit people in your life. Even if it's your job that's stressing you out. You gotta do something. If not, it's gonna take you to an early grave. It's not, it's gonna premature your ass and everything into a damn casket. And you don't even realize and everything. If not, you it's gonna be like, like I said, like a zombie. It's going to bite you and contaminate you. You're gonna become just like the people that you despise the most. Get shit right. It's Red 19. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Be blessed. Or do you have a pulse? Do you have a pulse? Are you alive? Or are you just existing? Which one? Take it easy.